In this video tutorial, I'm going to cover how to create a custom letter and then send it out to the tenants which you select. In this tutorial, I'll be creating a letter for former tenants, offering them a discount. First, to create the letter, I'll go to Tools and then Word Processing. I'll scroll down to Custom Letters. If I expand this selection, we can see some custom letters that I've already created. But to create a new custom letter, I'll make sure that the word custom letters is selected and then click new. I'll label this letter former tenant discount and then click design. Now I have a custom letter that I can edit to send out to my former tenants. We can see that by default, this letter has some basic fields including a return address, the address it's going to, the date, unit label, unit number, dear tenant name, and then some text. Anywhere that we see brackets, these are fields that will be automatically populated by the software. Because this is a former tenant label, there won't be any need for the unit number section, so I'll go ahead and delete that, and then click and drag to rearrange my boxes to fill in the space. I'll go ahead now and edit this text to more accurately fit what I want to do. On my desktop, I've saved a notepad, the text that I want to use for my custom letter. I'll double click this text box, paste my text, and click the check mark. Once I'm done editing my custom letter, I'll click Save and then Close. Now I have my former tenant discount letter and can send it. To send this letter, I'll go to Tenant, Custom Letters and Labels. Here we can see the custom letters that have been created on the right hand side. On the left hand side, we have a drop down where we can select existing tenants, former tenants, delinquent tenants, or alternate tenants. Because I've created this letter for former tenants, I'll go ahead and make that selection. The screen changes to show me all of my former tenants. It will show me the unit number that they were in, their name, their paid to date when they vacated, and whether or not they have an email address on file. I want to send this letter to all tenants. Now if I wanted, I could go in and I could unselect certain tenants who I knew shouldn't receive the letter. Once I've selected the tenants I want to send it to, I'll select the correct letter and I can preview to make sure that everything looks alright. Everything does look okay here. The from address to and the tenant's name are correctly inserted. I'll go ahead and click close and now I can choose to print or to email. Keep in mind that if you choose to email the letter, it will only be emailed to those tenants on who have an email address on file. For example, Mr. Mahoney here will not receive the email, but April Lee will. This concludes our video on how to create and send custom letters for tenants or former tenants.